only 6% of AI-generated content actually goes viral, but those creators all use the same character consistency method that nobody talks about. Okay, let's get real for a hot second. Everyone and their bestie is making AI content right now, but honestly, only a teeny tiny percentage actually breaks through all that noise. And here's the tea. The difference isn't luck or some magical timing. It's literally one specific approach to character consistency that's separating the viral videos from everyone else who's posting into the void. While most creators are out here churning out the same generic AI content that gets ignored faster than a text from your ex, there's this exclusive little group of absolute genius creators who've totally cracked the code on what actually makes people stop scrolling, engage like crazy, and smash that share button like it's their morning coffee ritual. They get something that 94% of content creators are completely sleeping on. And it's not what you think at all. I'm about to spill exactly what these viral queens know and the same character consistency secret they're using to turn their AI content into total engagement magnets that rake in millions of views while everyone else's content flops. And honestly, once you see how it's done, you might never go back. But here's the thing that literally nobody's talking about. Most AI character tools are basically lying to you about what consistency actually means. Like, they'll show you these absolutely gorgeous sample images and be like, look how consistent our characters are. But then when you actually try to use them, it's a whole different story, and not the cute kind. I've spent literally hundreds of hours testing every single character generator on the market, and I mean everyone, from the big names everyone's obsessing over to the underground tools nobody talks about. And what I discovered honestly shocked me to my core. The tools that get the most hype and buzz? They're actually the worst at character consistency. Like, we're talking about your character looking like a completely different person if you change their outfit or ask them to smile instead of looking serious. It's giving major catfish vibes. But there's something even more frustrating than that. The reason most creators think AI character generation is just not there yet isn't because the technology isn't ready. It's because they're using the wrong tools entirely. Like, imagine if everyone was still trying to edit videos on their phone when professional editing software existed. That's the level of chaos we're dealing with. That's literally what's happening right now with AI characters. And it's honestly breaking my heart. The next thing you need to understand is probably the most important factor that determines whether your characters will actually work. And this is something that took me months of testing to figure out. But once I understood it, everything clicked like the perfect puzzle piece. Most people think character consistency is all about the prompt. They'll spend hours crafting these super detailed descriptions, adjusting every little detail, trying to hack their way to consistency with word choices and technical tricks like they're studying for finals. But what actually matters isn't only what you tell the AI, it's also which AI you're talking to. Think about it like this. If you asked five different artists to draw the same character from your description, you'd get five completely different results, right? Some artists are just naturally better at maintaining consistency across multiple drawings. It's like their superpower. The same thing happens with AI models. Some are built for consistency and others, well, others are built for pretty pictures that look good once but fall apart the second you try to use them in any real project. This is why you can spend three hours perfecting your prompt on mid-journey and still get a character that looks like their distant cousin in the next generation. It's honestly so frustrating. So to bring this point home, it's most likely not you, it's the tool. And the crazy part? The tools that actually nail consistency aren't even the ones most people are talking about or fangirling over. While everyone's fighting over the same broken platforms like it's Black Friday shopping, there's this whole other category of AI that's solving the problem completely. But that's not even the most important part. What I'm about to show you is the exact method that those viral creators are using. And honestly, it's so simple that you're going to be like, wait, that's it? This is what I've been missing this whole time? So I tested over 30 AI character generators in the past year. And I'm talking about everything from the free basic ones to the crazy expensive enterprise tools that cost more than my monthly coffee budget. I tracked consistency scores, tested them with different prompts, different styles, different everything you could possibly imagine. 
and there was one platform that just completely destroyed everything else. Like, it wasn't even close. We're talking total domination. The platform is called OpenArt, and before you're like, oh honey, I've heard of that, let me tell you why this is different from whatever you think you know about it. First off, they just dropped some absolutely insane updates that literally nobody's talking about yet, and I'm obsessed. Like, we're talking about Flux Context, which is basically the most advanced AI model for image creation that exists right now and it's giving main character energy. It does text to image, image editing, style transfer, consistent characters, and local edits all in one gorgeous model. But here's the part that made me actually gasp when I saw it. They also just integrated Kling 2.1 for video generation. Do you understand what this means? You can create a consistent character and animate them into videos in the same platform. Like we're talking about going from idea to animated content in literally minutes it's giving creative genius. But that's still not the best part that has me absolutely swooning. The thing that absolutely blows my mind is their consistent character feature. You upload one image, just one, and it creates what's basically a custom AI model just for your character. So every time you generate new images, it's not trying to recreate your character from a description. It already knows exactly what they look like, down to every beautiful and minute detail. It's like having a personal artist who's memorized your character and can draw them in any pose, any outfit, any setting, while keeping them perfectly consistent every single time. It's honestly magical. Now, let me walk you through exactly how to do this, because implementation is everything, and I want you to absolutely slay this. First, you're going to go to OpenArt, and by the way, I'll put the link for it in the description for you. Then you're going to click on the Storytelling section, and then Consistent Character. It's so intuitive and cute. You've got three options here. Start with a description, start with one image, or start with multiple images. Here's what most people get wrong. They think more images equals better results. Not true, bestie. The AI is so good now that one really good reference image actually works better than five mediocre ones. Quality over quantity, always. Next, you upload your reference image and give your character a name that just feels right. This is super important because you'll use this name in all your future prompts, so pick something that makes you smile. And here's where it gets really cool. The training process takes like five minutes max, not hours like other platforms. Five minutes and you have a custom AI model that knows your character better than you do. It's honestly incredible. Once it's trained, you can generate unlimited variations that are absolutely stunning. Want them at the beach looking like a total goddess? Done. In a business suit? Done. Different hairstyle but same face? Totally doable and so cute. The key is to be specific about what you want to change and what you want to keep the same. Like Melanie in a red dress at a coffee shop, maintaining her signature smile and eye color. See how specific and lovely that is? Oh, and here's something that might surprise you. The creators who are absolutely crushing it with AI content right now aren't the ones with the biggest budgets or the most technical knowledge. The smart cookies who saw the bigger picture. Think about it. When you see the same character showing up in multiple pieces of content, your brain automatically assumes there's a real person or brand behind it. It builds trust and recognition in a way that random generated images never could. It's like creating your own little celebrity. I've seen creators go from zero to hundreds of thousands of followers just by having one consistent AI character that people started recognizing and connecting with emotionally. But there's one more thing that most people completely miss, and this is what separates the creators who make money from AI content versus the ones who just make pretty pictures. The real value isn't in creating one perfect character. The real value is in creating characters that can evolve and adapt while staying recognizable. It's like building your own little universe. With OpenArt's system, you can update your character's looks seasonally, give them different outfits for different content themes, even age them up or down for different storylines, all while keeping that core visual identity that makes them recognizable and lovable. Like, imagine having a character that can be your fitness motivation in cute workout gear, your style inspiration in fashion content, and your business mentor in professional settings. But it's obviously the same gorgeous person throughout. That's the kind of content strategy that builds real audiences and real business value. And honestly, most people are going to sleep on this for another six months while they're still struggling with basic prompt engineering on outdated tools. 
Which means if you start implementing this now, you're going to have a massive head start before everyone else plays catch up. And I'm totally here for that energy. And here's what's really exciting about this moment we're in. We're basically at the iPhone moment for AI character creation. Like, remember when smartphones first came out and everyone was still using flip phones because they worked fine? That's literally what's happening right now and it's honestly so frustrating to watch. Meanwhile, there's this incredible new technology that actually works sitting right there and nobody's paying attention to it. And the creators who adopt it early are going to have such a massive advantage, they're going to be the trendsetters. Think about all the content you could create with one consistent character. Instagram posts, TikTok videos, YouTube thumbnails, course materials, website graphics, marketing materials, and it's all cohesive and recognizable and totally on brand. Plus, with Open Arts team plans that they just launched, you can actually share characters with your team or clients. It's perfect for collaboration. So if you're doing any kind of client work or you have a team creating content, everyone can use the same consistent characters. It's honestly such a game changer. This is amazing for agencies and content teams who need brand consistency across multiple people and projects, and it just makes everything so much easier and prettier. So here's what I want you to do right now. Don't wait until everyone else figures this out and it becomes oversaturated. Don't spend another week fighting with tools that aren't even designed for what you're trying to do. You deserve better than that frustration. Just give OpenR to go and tell me what you think in the comments. You absolutely won't regret it. Create one character, just one character to start. Upload a reference image, let it train for five minutes, and then generate three different versions of that character in different settings. I promise you, the moment you see how consistent and professional the results are, you're going to understand exactly why this is the future of AI content creation. And honestly, you don't need to take my word for it, though I'd love for you to trust me on this one. Like I said, just try it yourself and you will see the difference. It's going to blow your mind. Because while everyone else is still debating which prompt works best on their outdated tools, you'll already be creating content that actually builds your brand and grows your audience. The early adopters always win in technology. Don't miss this one, you've got this. Now go create something absolutely amazing and I'll see you in the next video.